Good morning everyone. It's still dark out, so I don't even feel awake. But I think I'm gonna start my day with a little bit of knitting. So I'm just working on the black mohair sweater, the sleeve, which I've got like maybe a third of it done. So I need to make some serious progress if I want to wear it soon, which I do. So I'll see you in the time lapse. <laughs> Welcome back. So I am still working on the sleeve. It's going really well. It's a, finally like longer than the body. It's still about 10 centimeters away from what I need it, but I just wanted to come on and tell you how I did the decreases. So I basically knit the first round when I picked up stitches for the sleeves, and then I did a row. I knit one stitch, did a knit two together, knit till the last three stitches, then uh, I slip slip knit, and then I knit one stitch, and I did that for four rounds, I think, until I had like a sleeve that hugged pretty nice and comfy on my arms. Um, it made a really nice pattern too, so I'll show you how the decreases look, but they kind of swooped in together, which looks really nice. Um, I think I'm going to finish this sleeve before I cast on for the beanie because I really want to use these cubic needles. These ones here. I recently got them and I, I love them a lot. Um, I don't know, I think they're just more ergonomic and also the way the loops, uh, like, wrap around the cubic shape is like easier to knit with, like to go through and pick up stitches and stuff. So I really want to use these for the needles, but the needles that I'm using are the ones that I need for the beanie. So I'm going to finish the sleeve. Um, it's noon right now, I'll see. I've got like three hours left on my audiobook, so hopefully I'll get it done. Alright, so I actually reread the pattern and it looks like I can use four and four and a half millimeter needles instead of Five, so I think I'm actually going to do my gauge swatch, make sure, you know, the needles are the right size, and then uh, I think I'm going to start casting on for the hat. It's actually knit flat. You guys, I'm an idiot. There's totally just instructions if I had scrolled down to knit in the round. So, <laughs> everything's fine, but I did my tiny little gauge swatch. I don't know how big you guys make yours, but I always make mine, like, hella small, and then I just rip it back so I can use the yarn again. Because I have too many gauge swatch coasters <laughs> lying around. But, um, I'm using another Lion Brand Pound of Love in the color Quartz. Just because I have a good amount of it. I have enough for a beanie. And I don't have that much yarn, actually, right now. I'm trying to clear out my stash. So... Yeah, I'm gonna cast on and I'll see you probably during the ribbing. Hello. I know I'm interrupting the montage, but it's because I have good news. 
I'm on the last stitch of my bind off for the mohair sweater. So let me just purl this last stitch. I feel like I've been working on this sweater forever, which I kind of have, you know, I've like started it in September and then like halfway through the body I ran out of mohair because I, I don't know for some reason I thought two skeins would be enough, <laughs> but I learned that lesson and now it's like I ran out of regular yarn working on the sleeves so then I had to buy more and then for like two months it just sat as like a dead whip on my little floor cushion but now I can say that it's finally done and I can wear it and love it and yeah so here it is guys the final sweater. I know you can barely see it because it's black. But we'll do like a big... There's the sleeves. <laughs> I think we'll do a big final reveal at the end. But for now, let's get back to that beanie. Welcome back. I have finished the ripping. So this is what it's looking like. I'm really liking what... Uh, worsted weight yarn looks like on four millimeters in this like one by one rib so i think i'm gonna go on ravelry and search for like maybe a tank top or something that does one by one rib with a worsted weight yarn on a four millimeter needles because like this as a tank top <laughs> that looks really small but as a tank top i think it would look really pretty and i have a lot of black worsted weight yarn from my sweater so Stay tuned for that. find this pattern so like just the right amount of engaging it's like pretty easy to memorize so I don't have to keep looking at the pattern a lot like I do with like lace patterns but every row is like fun to do and I think it's a beginner pattern for people who are like just starting out with cables and I haven't done that many cables in my life so this was a nice pattern for like my third cable pattern I really like it. <laughs> I'm thinking because engaging knits are like more fun than just rows and rows of stockinette lately. Um, I might do like a very complicated sweater for my next sweater, my next big project. Um, I'm thinking about doing the Salty Day sweater from Kuruvo Kika. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, I've already ordered a sweater's worth of yarn and mohair um, in this like really 
light pink color because I think white looks a little weird on me so like pure white would be a little too intense for my skin color I think so I think I'm gonna do that next because like I'm not afraid of cables or air patterns anymore and I want to be like I want to be an intermediate knitter <laughs> instead of a beginner so we'll see how that goes Thank you. 